Let's welcome Charlene to the show. Now, Charlene has a one-year-old daughter named Faith. Look at her. Charlene has faith that a paternity test will prove that a man named Paige is her daughter's biological father. You see, Charlene says in the beginning, Paige was the kind of father any woman would want for their child. He was loving, he was present, and most of all, it seemed like he truly enjoyed being a dad. But then, six months ago, it all changed when Paige started to deny that he was her father. Yes. All of a sudden. He wasn't this man who he is now. And that's why I don't understand how he can change on her like this. And he, we wanted on a dime. kids. On a dime? On a dime, just like that. Maury, we wanted kids. We tried for two years. Right. Two years, and the doctors told me I couldn't have kids. And then I said, you know, I was pregnant. And we was happy. We was excited. This is what we wanted. But then he flipped on me soon, six months after I had him. Are you positive he's the father? I hate that he's doing this. And yes, I am very, I'm 125% positive that Paige is the father. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. My eyebrows are not on that. Look at him. He looks just like that me. Okay. But here's the thing, all right? Everybody's got to know the whole story. When you found out that you were pregnant, were you honest with Paige in terms of where you had been? Yes, I was very honest with Paige because me and Paige broke up for a period of time and we was both sleeping with different people. Uh -huh. And when I first found out I was pregnant, I had let him know. I was very honest with him. Right. I said, this can be yours and it cannot be yours. Right. Paige took that choice and by stuck the way, by he my said, side. I'm stepping up. Yes, I he am stepped up. I'm going to be during your pregnancy yes, he told right me, there with he you. He told me the day we thought I was pregnant that he was going to step up and he was going to be her father. He had the chain on him when he got the ultrasound. He was so happy. Right. He wanted to be her father. He wanted to be that for her. Then he switched up on me. Now, did he come to the hospital for the birth? Yes, he was there through the whole pregnancy, Maury. Right. And the birth. Look, that's his hand right there. Me holding my daughter Faith, his hand's right there. He was there the day of the hospital, the day I gave birth. Did, did he sign the birth certificate? Yes, he even signed the birth certificate, Maury. You think in the back of his head all the time he's thinking about well, she did tell me that there was another guy, and she was a little doubtful in the beginning, but once she saw that little girl, she knew that it was Paige's. Yes, in the beginning. I know, because his previous relationship, he had a oh, woman. Oh, everybody got to know this. He, he raised a, a child for, what, two and a half years? Two and a half years, Maury. She had this man thinking that was his child. And it wasn't. And it wasn't his child. But that don't have nothing to do with me. I see. Okay. This is this is our child. This is our daughter, and you're gonna take care of her. Until six months ago, he loved that little girl. Yes, he loved her like like his daughter, like what she is. Right. He loved her, and then out of nowhere, a flip switch. He walked out on us. What about now? Now he's not doing anything for her. He's he doesn't not a, support he's not her. Around. He's not around. He's around, but he doesn't support her like he needs to. He's around. What can around do? Where's the, where's the love and support that she needs? Okay. What did he do not too long ago that kind of broke your heart? <sighs> Halloween, Maury. It was on Halloween. I went to, he wanted to hang out with his friends instead of taking his baby trick-or-treating. All right. And he blocked me for a week, Maury. A week. This is the man you loved. That's the man I loved. You love him still? I still have love for him. But at the same time, I you hate want, him more. You want to you prove that he's the father? Do you want to get back with him? It all have to depends on the results more. Because he has changed as a man, and he's put me through straight hell. OK. <laughs> this is what he had to say. Watch this. Being a father is the greatest feeling I ever had. I was excited to have a baby with Charlene. I was in love with Faith from the first ultrasound. Me and Charlene always had a special bond. But we broke up six months ago because I really don't think I'm the father of her one-year-old daughter, Faith. I was there for Charlene for the whole time she was pregnant. I was there for the baby shower, Faith's first birthday, Faith is daddy's little girl. It hurts so much to worry that she's not mine. I had my heart crushed before by a paternity test. All I want is for Mara to tell me that I'm Faith's real daddy. Everybody, here's Paige. You gonna, you gonna step up and act like this your daughter? Look at her. She looks just like you. Okay, uh, but look she at, looks look, just where, like you. Where, do you. where is the features at? What do you mean? She can look well, like her she mother like... as well. 
She has your eyebrows. She has your curly hair. She has your curly hair. I don't want to hear it. I don't see nothing on her. No, you know that's your daughter. I don't want to hear it. This is what I don't understand, Paige. In the beginning, when she first got pregnant, she said, Paige, I got some doubt. You know, you might be the father, you might be, not be the father, but you stayed, right? Yep. You were yes, there throughout the pregnancy. Yep. You were there at the birth, you signed the birth certificate. Yep. What went wrong? It was me being that when she told me about the other guy that was in the situation, right. I felt like that I didn't want my heart to be broke again about me, what happened in the past, and he I didn't want this to happen to now. He was sticking to the past. Okay, he was so sticking ahead, to the past. That's and all that was. I feel like that now, as she got older, I feel like she lost my features. Like, she doesn't have my hair. Oh, so She's... it's all about the looks. Is that it? Yeah. So that's, that's where the big doubt came. Yeah, that's where the doubt came from. And that's from. where you kind of checked out six months ago. Yeah. She looks just like you. How can you tell that she don't look like you? She, where does she look like me? What do you mean? Look she at doesn't her face. Look at her. She, she has your hair. She, she has your eyebrows. She all. looks just like you. She no, even she got your attitude. Not. No, she does not. No, she does not. No, she does not. And Paige, you also say that people are in your ear? Yeah, I had yep, a few all people. All his friends, I had a few people even tell his me mama told that him that's his daughter. But he want to listen to everybody on else. Tell me that I didn't, that, that she wasn't my baby and that I don't look nothing like her. Right, listening and to everybody else. I start and looking into it to be that and I start her. feeling like, you know, maybe this might be happening again. So maybe I should be a man about it. You were, see. you were devastated in the first experience. Yeah, the first time it broke my heart to find out that the baby wasn't mine because I was doing everything I can for two and a half years for the baby. But that don't but have nothing to do the, with faith. Would this be your first child? This would be my first child, yeah. Exactly. His first child, Maury, and he treated her like that up and walked out of her because of what somebody do you, else did do you to think, him. Do you think because of your doubts as they increased, you became more distant with her? I wouldn't say the doubts. It's just... I don't want to be in her life and have her thinking I'm the father, and then that turns out well, not to be the father and I leave. Well, you should when you found out I was pregnant. You should have left right then and there. Because I, I want to step up you. and be the man right. that I was supposed to be. Okay. You all loved each other, didn't you? At yes. one point. Do you think that you can get back together if it's proven that you're the father? If I'm, he willing, can act I'm, right, I'm willing to work on it. If he acts right, I'm willing to work he's on willing it. to work on it more, but he has to put his act together to treat me right but as also, a mother and a father. But you also, right. you also have a part in the act right. In the case of one year old Faith, Paige, you are not. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Don't, don't be hard on her, okay? <laughs> All right? She wanted you to be the father so much, okay? And probably thought you were the father. Right? Charlene. Charlene, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm so sorry. Come here. Come here. I'm so sorry. I am really sorry. Something that we're gonna have to it's something that we're gonna have to take. <laughs> something that we're gonna have to take. This is I won't hold nothing else against you. I am so sorry for everything I've ever put you through. And I just hope you forgive me. I don't know. Okay, that's okay. I know you have great feelings for that little girl, okay? All right? I can see it in your eyes. I want both of you to meet with my counselor, Stephen, okay? All right? Because he knows a lot about things like this. Thank you. Thanks for watching this dramatic DNA reveal. If you want to see more paternity stories, click here. And be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about all new DNA drama.